And with that, robots are in place. It does look like we did only have two blue robots starting on that initiation line over on the Red Alliance sector portion of the field with these first 15 seconds of autonomous underway. All three Red Alliance robots are scoring three complete hoppers full of power cells up and in for the Red Alliance, establishing an early lead, 80 to 49. Looking at the action for blue, IDKY and Tigor 1 over near the loading station, we do now see that Alex G has appeared. I'm hearing from our tournament director, Alex G, appearing just now on that initiation line. All right, I am hearing from our event director. We will be restarting this match in just about 10 seconds. You might have seen if you were watching that Alex G didn't pop into the match for uh, the first 15, 20 seconds of the match. And we want to have this match be as clean and fair as possible. So we're going to reset these robots and get match number 17 back underway in just a moment. And now, once again, we do still have three red robots cleaning up those power cells off their initiation line. IDKY and Tigor still in action for the Blue Alliance, working hard to score once again in our first 15 seconds of the match. All three red robots working hard once again, establishing that early lead. The Blue Alliance, though, still does appear to be down one of their Alliance members. That's Alex G3158, not populated in this match at the moment. Our staff on the back end taking a look at what is happening. We do have three red robots and two blue robots still working as quickly as possible in this match. Alex G once again populating into the match just a few seconds late. Match is still running at the moment. We do have a red alliance lead. Blue alliance is hanging in there despite being down one alliance member for the first few seconds of the match. A minute and a half remaining. The Red Alliance has a score of 126 to 107. And now it does look like Alex has dropped again for the Blue Alliance. So it is 3v2 once again in favor of the Red Alliance with just over one minute remaining. Taco Troll for the Red Alliance going up, scoring at least 10 more points. Now at least 12 more points for the Red Alliance, possibly more depending on if those power cells did land in the inner port for the Red Alliance. One minute remaining now, Blue working as hard as they can, despite being down one Alliance member. A full hopper of power cells for Tigor 1 as they try to make their way back toward the Blue Alliance power port. They collide momentarily with some defense from Taco Troll or Wes in the Red Alliance. West now in red back near the loading station, but there are not a lot of power cells remaining in that loading station. Blue has been a little bit slower on the score due to their missing Alliance member. So red is not able to pick up as many power cells as they would like during their last scoring cycle. Two red robots back in the loading zone now. That's Kotzer and Taco Troll while West goes up for more points for the Red Alliance. 20 seconds remaining in the match. The Red Alliance has scored 92 power cells, a guaranteed ranking point and 270 match points. They're going to sink a few more into the inner and outer port before racing back to the rendezvous point. IDKY for Blue and Tigor now there for the Blue Alliance as well. All three red robots in contact with the shield generator switch and they lift off the ground simultaneously. That's going to be at least 75 points for the Red Alliance as time expires in qualification match number 17. Score at the end of the match indicating a Red Alliance victory, 363 to 308. The Red Alliance score also indicating both bonus ranking points, one for over 90 power cells and one for at least 65 points at the end of the match on the shield generator. Looking over at blue, they were also able to score a 65 point end game. So that will be an additional ranking point for the blue Alliance. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.